How we can get with the flu beam after do the assessment? That is very important. The lady was a, he was 49 years old, secondary lymphedema, four years old. He was not very big. Clinically, was not a huge lymphedema. What we could uh, see was in the dorsal of the arm, some fibrotic tissue or some more uh, volume on that area. And after the injection, we always do the same. Uh, quick assessment to see two things, to see how is the beginning, which speed is, uh, is the, in, in the normal arm. We can observe is the different people, they have different uh, velocity of transport and this is also important for us. And then we can see that in only two minutes in the normal arm, the, the lymphatic channels they were completely full until the, the fossa cubitalis. In the affected arm, we saw that there was two channels, more or less, until the, the distal third of the arm, that it was, okay, two channels on the dorsum of the arm, healthy channels. And then we wait for about five, ten minutes doing some exercise, and what we found after that, we found in the, in the normal arm, it was completely full of channels. We, we also saw the pattern, the dominal pattern in that patient was medial pattern, not dorsal pattern. There was not other pathways, but it was completely full from the hand until the axilla. In the affected arm, what we, what we found it was just diffuse, complete diffuse pattern until nearly one third uh, or the proximal third of the arm. What does it mean that is in this lady still she has two big channels they are working still in good conditions but all the other proximal uh, lymphatic system is completely sclerotic and this is the key point to make indication if you see these healthy channels is when you can indicate that you can do a lymphoid anastomosis if you don't have this is no indication for surgery so the full beam or the ICG technology is essential to understand how is the lymphedema working? Which patients can be patients that they can they can improve with the surgery? And then it's obviously essential to do the preventive planning to know where we are going to do the incision. And this is why flubim is, is quite um, important. Uh, it can tell you that more important is essential for this kind of surgery. You cannot do lymphedema surgery without ICG assessment.